environment, uh, that we can do likewise. I call you Zini Sage. Tanaka, Mr Speaker, thank Tanaka. you. The Green Party is very pleased to support the nomination of the Hon. Simon Upton to be the new Parliamentary Commissioner for the Environment. He has been deeply immersed in environmental law and policy for many years, and I think his experience in this House as Minister for the Environment, Health and also Research will serve him well in this position. But it is particularly um, the depth of his involvement with the OECD and the breadth of his experience with um, policy initiatives to tackle the most challenging uh, issues of our time, from climate change to land use and water quality, um, how you use things like economic instruments and just his overview and his uh, connection with New Zealand that he can bring that uh, international experience and that knowledge um, to this position of the Parliamentary Commissioner. Because this role as the Parliamentary Commissioner for the Environment is absolutely critical. When the office was set up, um, it was called a watchdog, and it has been that with the succession of Commissioners Helen Hughes, uh, Dr Morgan Williams and then Dr Jan Wright. And they have provided invaluable um, advice to the parliament, uh, independent advice, a small staff at the moment of around 20, um, a budget of about 3.3 million, but a number of critical reports from the uh, retiring uh, parliamentary commissioner, Dr Jan Wright, and that have made a real difference. And I would like to acknowledge um, her work and the depth of the reports on issues as diverse as the uh, status of longfin eel and its decline, uh, land use and water quality, uh, the use of 1080 as a tool for predator control. And I think the office has assessed in the last year that the success of its recommendations in being adopted by government was somewhere around 58%. Um, and you want an office that can review the evidence, um, base its recommendations on robust science and actually have them uh, presented to the parliament uh, to inform parliamentarians, inform the government of where our policy uh, should move. And I think we've seen that with the uh, current commissioner. And I'm sure that the Honourable Simon Upton will continue that tradition. Uh, the, one of the strengths of the current parliamentary commissioner has been the accessibility of the, her reports. They are clear, concise, easy to read, and it is that accessibility and explaining the science behind uh, land use and water quality, the impact of nitrates on water quality, that has engaged the media and enabled a lot more New Zealanders to understand the issues at stake here uh, that are affecting our extraordinary natural landscapes and environment and some of those challenges and how uh, government communities and local government are best to uh, respond to those. So we're very pleased to support um, the Hon. Simon Upton in this new role. I'm sure that he will bring uh, the robust analysis, uh, his use of his quite deprecating sense of humour, uh, his um, wide range of policy experience to ensuring that the office remains a vital part of our uh, environmental policy structure in New Zealand in providing independent and robust advice to this parliament uh, and to the government. Thank you. Speaker. I call uh, Ron Mark. Thank you, Mr Speaker.